Namaste. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Nihao. Buenos dias. Here's a chain. Aquaba. Welcoming. What up, though? Today we have a story from the Mayan tradition, the Mayan people. It is a story of the hummingbird. And in the sharing of the story, we consider the principle of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a word, a principle, a saying from the Zulu people, the Zulu tradition and language. It means I am because you are and it signifies social justice, looking out for each other, fairness, village, all them things. So we keep in mind this principle of Ubuntu as we share the story of the hummingbird, Tsunu Um. Mayan tradition. So the story begins with Zunu'u, the hummingbird. Such a sweet, petite, humble being in the forest, flying about, pausing in the air, doing circles, being kind and sweet. And as sweet as the hummingbird is, during that period, as the story tells it, the hummingbird is without much color. Kind of like the gray here. That's it. That's all. So, when the hummingbird, Tsunu Um, is preparing for her wedding. The brethren of the forest hear of the joyous occasion, the celebration. Oh no, they love her so much. She's so sweet and nice. They want to do something for her. So each of the brethren from the forest share something for her wedding as a wedding gift. So there's the water bird who has a bright crimson necklace around its neck and it takes the necklace of feathers removes two of those feathers and puts it at the top of its head as a crown for itself and then it gives the rest of the necklace the crimson feathers to Tsunu Um not to be outdone the bluebird ho ho shares some of the blue feathers aqua turquoise Red bird shares some additional red feathers. Oh, multicolor, multicolor, multicolor. Oh, looking pretty. And the Oriole. Now, the Oriole is a master of sewing and putting things together. So, the Oriole takes the feathers that are provided from the other birds, the other brethren of the forest, and put together. Oh, such a nice wedding dress. And then the spider. Oh, the spider. Spins a web, shiny, shiny, as a veil for Tsunu Um, the hummingbird. And so it's looking 
nice now. It's looking nice. But there's further. The bee hears of the wedding. And oh, hummingbird is so nice. Tuna, oh, so nice. The bee wants to do something. So the bee provides some of the nectar, some of the honey, and gets the, the brethren bees to share in it as well and provide it for Tsunu Um and, and the wedding guests. And then, oh, wait a minute now, the trees, the white blossoms, the pink blossoms, share petals on the forest grounds, carpeting the floor. Color, color, color. Bright, pretty. For Tsunu Um, the hummingbird. Even further, the banana tree, the papaya tree, the guava tree, all hear of the wedding and want to provide something for the feast. And so each one provides the fruits of its branches to share with Hummingbird because they know Hummingbird loves it. Tsuno Um loves it. They share it. So when the day arrives, Tsuno Um bestowed with all these gifts and oh she's so happy she's so humbled by the generosity of the brethren of the forest she has difficulty even saying the words for the vow for the ceremony she's so choked up with emotion she's so moved and this is seen by the great spirit and because of the modesty of the hummingbird, Tsunu Um, it is decided that Tsunu Um is able to continue to hold these gifts, the wedding dress, the veil, and additionally, after the wedding. And Sparrow arrives, Swallow, Swift, arrives and shares the message, and the celebration continues. And this is how Tsunu Um is bestowed with the colors of her gown. That is the story of Tsunu Um from Mayan tradition. And we keep in mind the principle of Ubuntu. Stay. Assalamu alaikum, shalom, zaijin, adios, te jekuris, simpin, asamudu, kile ufred. With love and peace.
Can you have the same?
No. Them talk about these stories. We do our best within these stories to optimize the legitimacy within the stories. Our pronunciation, the language, the sources from which we derive the stories, and the manner in which we inform and inspire authenticity within the recipients of these stories to continue the legacy, the inheritance, the treasures of these stories. There are treasures. These stories are rich and these stories have responsibility. We share these stories with the purpose, with the guidance of knowledge of self to get a better knowledge of ourselves, an understanding of ourselves, a respect for ourselves and for each other, to better live in peace, harmony, prosperity with ourselves, with each other, with attunement, with the Tao, the path, the way, the Dharma, the great mystery, the will of God. Any and all the ways we understand that. One universe, one love and peace.